finally something new out of JVC. Since COVID and the supply chain issues hit back in early 2020, we haven't seen any new head units out of this company. Looks like we're finally over the hump. And as other brands have released their head units, JVC joins the party by releasing 788BH and the 780BH. So stay tuned as we give a full review on these radios and what they have to offer. Hey, what's up? It's Josh from Breakers Stereo and Performance. Welcome to the channel that reviews all the newest in automotive upgrades like car audio, performance, suspension, and more. Because we don't drop stock. And if you're like us, where stock just doesn't cut it, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Okay, first things first, the KW-M788BH and the 780BH have the same features except for these two things. The 788BH has a 5 volt pre-out and HD radio. And the 780BH is a 4 volt pre-out with a standard tuner. And the 788BH is $499 and the 780BH is 50 bucks less at $449. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so these radios are digital multimedia players with AM FM tuner and will play MP3, WMA, and AAC music files. Plus high res wave and flag files. 6.8 inch capacitive touchscreen display with electronic viewing angle. Now these are doubled in radios with shallow depth and smartphone features include wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto with USB charging. Built in Bluetooth with dual phone connection for hands-free calling and music streaming. 50 watts times four peak power and 22 watts times four RMS. 13 band EQ, digital time alignment and the volume link EQ boosts frequencies that are affected by road noise and also adjustable crossovers. Expandability includes series XM ready, tuner sold separately. Okay, this has a rear USB input, front and rear camera inputs, rear analog 3.5 millimeter AV inputs that can be configured for a third camera. And new to this year, this has a micro HDMI input that can be used for mirroring a smartphone. Now, of course, the cable and adapter will be sold separately. It has six channel pre-outs, front, rear, and sub. Again, four volts on the 780 and five volts on the 788. And this also works with the iDatalink Maestro module. The module is sold separately. And the iDatalink module retains factory features in a wide selection of vehicles, which include vehicles, display engine, performance data, and other important information directly on the screen. And also steering wheel control ready, adapter sold separately. Okay, let's unbox. Okay, so we have the main harness, separate Bluetooth mic, which is a plus. Also the GPS antenna, your manual and your warranty card. And this green wire here is designed to be hooked to the parking brake as a safety feature. All right, so here's the head unit itself. We do have some buttons here on the side and these buttons do not protrude out, so they are flush with the screen. As you can see, we have a shallow mount, so it makes it easier for installation. On the back, there's the USB input, microphone input. This is the reverse wire that triggers that reverse camera light green parking brake wire we mentioned earlier. And then you have your dedicated front view camera input here, along with your standard AM FM antenna input. Then we have front, rear, and sub RCA cables. On the bottom here is our main harness GPS antenna. If we unscrew this and remove the plate, then we have our micro HDMI. That's a huge plus. Pioneer does also have a micro HDMI input, but it just basically is flush on here and you would plug it in so it does protrude out. And because that micro HDMI input is so small, you really have to be careful when you put this back in. With this, I really like that it is recessed back in there. So you can put your micro HDMI cable in there, put the plate over it along with the screw and that's gonna hold it in there tight so it's not gonna move around. Or excellent design on that. All right, you also have your rear camera input here. And there also is a video out which is nice. So if you have a secondary monitor in the vehicle, you can hook it up to that. And then you have your 3.5 millimeter AV input, and that's audio and video, of course, and you could use that video as a third camera if you like. And then here we have our iDatalink Maestro plugins along with the Sirius XM input here. All right, so when you first power this thing on, these are your initial settings. As you can see, you have demonstration, pick the language, front and rear. You also have user customization. So if you go into here, you're able to just go quickly into the screensaver or the background screen. You also have viewing angles. So we did talk about this here in the feature section of this video. So depending on how the screen is in the dash, you can set 
the angle, making it brighter depending on the particular angle that the radio is mounted at. Okay, so here's our home screen here. This looks very similar to the last generation radios that JVC had. Icons here for your sources and you can choose to move those around if you like. Uh, let's go into settings. All right, so here we have our audio settings. So we have EQ, sound effect, balance fade, crossover, time alignment, and a few more. Let's go into EQ. All right, so we have our 14 band equalizer here. Again, this looks very similar to last generation. You have some presets on the EQ or you can customize them as well. User, all right, so from user you can adjust here so you can move these up and down. All right, you also have your base EXT uh, on or off and also your subwoofer level here. All right, let's go back. Take a look at sound effect. So here we have loudness, bass boost, then there's the volume link EQ as mentioned earlier, sound response, and then also sound lift. So sound lift will bring that front stage either higher to the middle or low. All right, so that's a nice feature like that. Okay, next balance and fade, that's pretty straightforward. Let's look at speakers and crossovers. So here we're able to select the type of vehicle. So let's say we are working in a compact car. Then here we can select where the speaker is located. In this case, the lower door area. You can also select the speaker size from six and a half all the way down to looks like three and a half, big as seven by 10. You also have your tweeter size as well, small, medium, or large. And then you have the crossover. So you have a tweeter crossover, which is nice, okay. And then you have the gain, and then you also have your high pass crossover for your door speaker. And then the slope you can choose from six, 12, 18, and 24 dB. I'm liking the DSP so far here. You can do the same with the rear speakers. And then for the subwoofer, you can choose the size, six and a half to as large as 15. Let's go back, we have time alignment. All right, so here we can adjust. Let's say we want to adjust the front left. All right, so what you would do is you would measure from the center of the speaker to the center of the headrest. You would enter in those measurements and then do it for each speaker in the vehicle. In this case, let's say you are on the left side, it will slow this speaker down, speed this speaker up so that it hits you at the same time. So the volume offset will allow you to adjust each source individually. So let's say for instance, the tuner is much louder than let's say the USB. So you can go in here and turn down the volume of the tuner or vice versa. You can just uh, turn up the volume of the USB so that when you go from the tuner to the USB, there's not a big difference in volume. All right, display. All right, so we have the dimmer, auto, on or off, and then here you can choose the wallpaper as well. On-screen clock, on or off, demonstration, on or off, scroll, home customization, so you can customize that. Okay, so you basically would just choose that and then select what you want. And I wanted to select phone there. Okay, so you can do it however you want. Okay, and then you can also adjust the viewing angle here as well. All right, so input. Again, you have your front and rear, so you can select here. Um, if you select on, then this will allow you to go into uh, the parking adjustment. If you select on, you could also select the how long you want it to interrupt, either five seconds um, up to, looks like 20 seconds, okay? Or camera, interruption, parking lines, guideline setup. Also reverse with ATT, so when you put it in reverse, it will lower the volume on the radio. All right, system, pretty self-explanatory stuff there. Anything that needs to be mentioned, not really. Beep on or off, all right. Uh, key, key customization, so you can adjust here how you want that. All right, so that's Android Auto. Here you have apps that you can choose from, of course, navigation, things of that nature. You use Google Maps. You can also use Waze here as well, and then also play your music back. There also is the microphone button that's here that activates Google Assist. So you can simply just hit that button and tell it what you want to do. You either play music, navigate to a destination, and it will do so just by tapping that button. Okay, next, Apple CarPlay. Now this screen does look really nice and clean. I know on your screen, got a little bit of shutter on it, but that's just because of the lighting that's in here and the way that it just records. But rest assured, you're not gonna get that in your vehicle if you decide to go with this radio. It's pretty basic here for Apple CarPlay. You have your mapping, Apple Maps, Google Maps. You also have Waze here as well. Whatever navigation app, whatever music app that you're used to using, that's gonna obviously populate here. All right, so let's check out the HDMI. Just plug that HDMI in. Right now, let me tell you that back plate that you have to pop open to put that micro HDMI in that's recessed is a really good design feature. 
We've sold plenty of the Pioneers in the past where you've had to hook that little micro HD in my cable and it's not really secure. So um, I can say that that's a great design feature. All right, so I didn't go over this screen. So these are all your sources here. I'll select HDMI here. So there it is, that's mirroring off my screen. All right, all right, we'll try Netflix, make sure that works. And then we don't have any restriction here. All right, cool, so far so good, no restrictions. We are seeing a picture there. A picture's decent, it looks nice. Let me try to adjust this really quick and see if we can get it to look a little better. So let's go. Hmm, I wish I was able to do this while the video was playing. So I'm just gonna have to adjust it without the screen going. That made a huge difference in the way that that looks. So that looks really good. And although it's only 480, you know, still really good. That'll do it for the demonstration. All right, time for the pros and cons, starting with the cons. Display resolution. Now this only offers a 480, whereas there are other brands out there that do offer a 720 at this particular size. And then wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto. Okay, but that's it. Now the pros. Now these radios have excellent sound quality. They use the same chip in their higher end JVCs and also in the Kenwoods. The high voltage pre-out, the DSP controls, which include the EQ, time alignment, and the crossovers, iData Link Maestro compatible, two camera input, which include a dedicated rear and dedicated front camera, and also the ability to hook up a third through that AV input, and also the HDMI input. As far as our overall rating, we really like JVC and the addition of the HDMI input, along with the sound quality and the DSP features, puts this at the top of the list for radios under $500. Despite not having wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, we still give this radio a four and a half star. If it had 720 resolution, I would have definitely given this a five star. But unless you're avidly watching videos on this radio, it's probably not that big of a deal since the screen's only 6.8 inches. For more information on these radios or to purchase them, we'll leave links in the description below, taking you directly to the web pages. Remember, we do have financing available simply Add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Again, my name is Josh, I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.